what's going on YouTube? Well, it turns out Canelo, uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, vape cases, uh, belt, the WBC, middleweight belt, 160 belt, you know, the famous green belt. So, anyway, I didn't get a uh, chance to listen to everybody's opinion and stuff like that. You know, I listened to, uh, you know, one channel, I heard uh, Beats and EJ and whatnot, um, I read an article, and, and then reading the article, man, and, you know, I, I never really was against, uh, Canelo, um, you know, squeezing, um, how would you say, <laughs> or mandating or dictating terms with, uh, Gennady Golovkin, one, because for one, it is a smart business move. You know what I'm saying? This is a young guy. He's making a lot of money. Um, you can say what you want to say about him. You know, we can call him, a, you know, coward and, you know, stuff like that. And saying that he's supposed to be, you know, you know, Mexican or whatever like that. Well, um being tough and stuff like that doesn't mean yeah <laughs> I mean uh equal being stupid you get what I'm saying being tough um working hard doesn't actually equal being stupid so and in my opinion I think it was good you know De La Hoya you know they, they you know cuz De La Hoya also came out saying like oh we want to do a 90 10 split which to me well, wasn't bad it wasn't bad. I don't care how many belts that uh, Gennady Golovkin uh, has. To me, is and for Gennady Golovkin, um, all these sanctioning fees he's paying um, just means less money for him because he ain't really making no money. I mean, you get what I'm saying? I mean, what what does he bring to the table? He fought Lemieux, David Lemieux. The pay per view numbers, uh, what did like what ninety thousand? It didn't break a hundred and fifty, uh, hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, hundred fifty thousand buys or whatever like that, right? So, at the end of the day, we at the end of the day, boxing at the end of the day is just an event. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just an event, right? You got all these different sanctioning bodies. You got all the different uh, sanctioning fees and stuff like that. Everybody's trying to get a uh, piece of, you know, the talent, right? And the talent or the product are, you know, the boxers at the end of the day. Okay. You know, a lot of people talk about, you know, um, you know fighter safety and stuff like that. Saying, you know... Um, yeah, but look at the fighter, you know, look, 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 you know, he 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 ends up on the um short end of the deal. He's been used, you know, and abused. Now you have a a fighter who's um Canelo Alvarez who 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 knows he's a star. And you got a promoter who knows he's a star trying to make the best out of, you know, out of his career. You know, trying to squeeze every dollar he can get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, whether he's being fair to his fans or not, um, his, his fans love him, you know, regardless. Uh, guys who step in the ring are stepping in the ring to get a, a paycheck, a la Amir Khan. You know, he's there to get a paycheck. Floyd fought him because, he, you know, he, he brought something to the table. And Canelo won, won a, a piece of Floyd. You know what I'm saying? He was willing to... He was willing to drain, man. He was willing to come down two pounds, extra two pounds, in order to make that fight happen. Because if he beat him, you know, not only does he get legacy, but he also gets a payday. You know what I'm saying? He also gets a big payday. And then it puts him on a different level, man, you know. So, you know, with that being said, man, I read this article. And, it's, and it seemed like uh, Canelo didn't want uh, it's, it's not like he doesn't want to fight Gennady Golovkin. He doesn't want to fight Gennady Golovkin. I mean, the guy who did fight Laura, um, he fought Austin Trout. You know, being that these guys are 154, but he was at 154 at one point. You know, uh, outside of this new weight class he created for himself, 155. You know, he fought some guys, you know. 
we can't um downgrade you know James Kirkland because he you know he wiped him out and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's James Kirkland's fault. Not to say James Kirkland wasn't game. It's it's his fault that he can't get himself together and um you know stick with Ann Wolf and and um uh, just have a consistent career. You know I I would have loved to see James <laughs> beat Canelo Alvarez, but it just wasn't happening. You know. But um, certain fighters, you know, we just can't um, say that, um, you know, discredit them, you know. Uh, but we can we can't discredit Canelo's decision. You get what I'm saying? We can't dis- discredit his decision, but I don't think we can dis- discredit all these opponents. You know what I'm saying? We, we we can't do that because, I mean, at the end of the day, they trying to eat too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'll fight Canelo for opportunity to eat. Unlike Gennady Golovkin, you know, it's like, well, Gennady, you know, what, what am I going to get? You know, like, um, let's say Dominic Wade, you know, Gennady Golovkin fought Dominic Wade. Dominic Wade was probably getting his biggest payday and his only payday, which was like um, 500000 And... I don't know, and, and at the end of the day, Gennady probably should, should be a saint, saint of himself. Yeah, you know, I was like, well, why did, I was like, you already seen as the man at 160, why why are you fighting this guy? You get what I'm saying? Like, why are you fighting this guy? It doesn't make sense. And why don't you just relinquish the belt and make some, make some uh, you know, fights happen or something like that, you know, it was like, why... Well, why, why, why is it that the opponents you go against can't get the lion's share or something like that in in, in order to, you know, boost your name up, you know? Well, because it sounds like Gennady Golovkin doesn't want to take a, the short end of the stick, you know? Um, I believe um, Eric Morales versus Danny Garcia got majority of the money when, um, you, you know, because, I mean, Eric Morales was the name. Danny Garcia is the man coming up. You know, he's trying to make a name for himself. So it was a lot of fights Danny fought where he took a lot of short money in order to boost his name up. You know what I'm saying? We could say he was, like, picking uh, picking off these old guys or whatever like that, but the old guys, they were getting paid at the end of the day. But, um, yeah, back to my point on this article, man. I, th- I, don't know, it was like Shane. It was Shane. It was, it was some guy named Shane something. I forgot. It was on, I think it was on... Um, what what was it? Um, Sports Nation or something like that. It was one 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 of these articles that I saw on my Bleacher app, and it, it made sense of why he vacated the belt. You know, it made sense. You know, because I wanted to jump. You know, I I I really wanted to the blast uh, Canelo Alvarez, but I thought about. It, I was like, you know, um, like I said, I wasn't even. I well, I wasn't even kind of like mad at him. I was like, oh, okay, uh, you know, but uh, it, it kind of made sense when I read the article that he did it because it said he vacated the belt. Let me get to my point. He vacated the belt because it, there was a deadline, right? It was a May twenty fourth deadline to get a deal done, and it was still in the process of negotiation. This is what good coming from Golden Boy Promotion, you know. Excuse me. Now, it was uh, said that if uh, by May twenty fourth, if the deal wasn't reached, that it would have gone to purse bid. Now, from my understanding, um, the mandatory. Well, what I read in the article is like the mandatory doesn't have to. Agree or buy by um, a weight, you know, a weight stipulation. Only the voluntary does for that belt, that 160 belt. So, in, in saying that, I'm thinking like, you know what? It was a, it was a good, yeah, it was a good move um, to get rid of that belt and. Try to iron out something, you know, outside the the sanction body of the WBC, you know. So, Canelo Alvarez to me 
In conclusion, is a, a star in boxing. He's, I mean, he's going to make good money. Uh, who he fights here on out, I don't know, man. Does he fight any of these 154 fighters? Uh, Boo Boo Andretti, the Charlo twins, uh, Julian J. Rock Williams. Does he fight any of the 160 uh, contenders? Does he have them come down to weight? I don't know. It's his career. He's going to do what he wants to do with his career. Does he fight Triple G? If he, I mean, he's I mean, he's fought Laura. Something Triple G wasn't w- willing to do. Um, I think he's willing to um, fight Triple G just on his terms. Triple G was willing to fight. Um, a guy who started his career around what one twenty six, what 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 one hundred thirty pounds, Floyd Mayweather, a small uh, a, a little man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This guy, yeah, you know, I you know, and kudos to those guys. You know, Triple G and you know uh, Canelo are coming in as almost like light heavyweights. So, hey, it was good for the goose. Is good for the gander. Yeah, Triple G said he's willing to come down to fight Floyd. He should be willing to come down to fight Canelo or do whatever he has to do to to put s- someone on his record uh, of note. You know, not dissing any of the other guys he fought, but he's been poaching a lot of um, uh, light uh, middleweights anyway. You get what I'm saying? And he's not willing to take short money to fight Daniel Jacobs or Peter Quillen or uh, what was uh, Andy Lee, uh, Kobarov, what was the, the other guy's name is, a whole bunch of uh, 160 fighters that he, he's not fighting. So, if anything, get called Triple G, um, you know, a, you know, a coward or a duck. And then he, despite him having the belts, he's he's not willing to concede anything to uh, make himself look good. You get what I'm saying? So, at, at the end of the day, it makes everybody look bad. You know, when you got situations like this, it makes everybody look bad. But um, he's the one without a fan base. You know, he's the one not, not bringing any, any money to the table. He's the one not uh, sugarcoating uh, or putting any icing on the cake. You know, he's just bringing, you know, cake. You know, he's not even a finished product because nobody, nobody really know him like that. You know, hardcore boxing fans know him, but nobody really know him like that. You know, people know Saul Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, people like, don't even know his full name. They know him as Canelo. Canelo, Canelo. You know, so he got a whole country behind him. He's got a uh, a whole uh, ethnic group behind him. And here it is, GGG coming in from Kazakhstan or uh, well, U- the Ukraine or whatever like that. And he ain't got nothing. You know, he ain't got no people behind him. Hell, he can't even sell out the stadium. He ain't got that many of his own people over here to sell out the stadium. You know, got the old boys traveling to Morocco and everywhere else. The, um, you know, trying trying to get a fan base going. You know, so yeah, man, that's my opinion on it, man. That's my opinion on it. So, um, yeah, man, Canelo, yeah, you know who I want you to fight, man. I want you to uh. So, to fight uh Jamal Charlo, you know, that'd be a good fight. You know, uh, uh, somebody of note at, at 154, if you're going to stay at 155, all you got to do is move up one pound. You get what I'm saying? How you can fight one of the 155, 154 fighters or something like that. If you, uh, they got some names, like Demetrius uh, Boo Boo Andre, that, that'd be a good one. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's trying to get his name up, you know, because he's been a hiatus for, like, the what, past two years, you know? So, but anyway, man, i catch y'all later. Y'all, know, y'all let me know what y'all think, man, about uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, man. You think he's a, a smart business move or, just, uh, or a cowardly move? All right, you know how I feel, man. I think it's a, a, a smart business move. Um... But other than that, I'm going to let y'all go. All right, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.